welcome back to my channel so this is gonna be your prediction for the next 30 days so let's go ahead and jump right into it so aries i'm getting a sense that you guys are trying to move away from something i feel like you guys recently ended a relationship you ended a connection not too long ago um or you guys are choosing to move on from something here okay you have six of swords here next to a full card which is aries so i know definitely this is your energy you guys are moving away from a sad sullen type of energy okay possibly a connection or relationship that didn't work out you guys chose to walk away something from something here with the eight of cups here in reverse okay to try to gain some form of clarity on i feel like more so like who you guys are on your identity right and maybe you guys have come into a new identity for yourselves you guys are trying to be more empowered more independent maybe you're trying to be focused more so on your finances on your business on work um this is why the good energy i am seeing here for you guys okay but i still see like you guys go back and forth from being in this good energy to being in this other energy where you guys are struggling okay it could have been because maybe you guys felt deceived or you guys feel or felt played by someone okay so i am going to tell you guys that i'm pretty good at picking this up for a lot of clients in personal readings but i feel like a lot of you guys might be under some form of negative influence under the influence of witchcraft that is causing you guys to have sleepless nights or maybe night terrors or sleep paralysis or something like that and the reason why i'm saying that is because you got the magician twice okay you got one upright one in the reverse and you also had this you had this call card fall out right on the devil so i feel like you guys could be subject to black magic um maybe you guys feel stagnant like you can't move forward emotionally maybe you guys are caught in a spell of depression okay i feel like you guys are very introspective as well within the next 30 days so if you guys are feeling like that i would highly suggest for you guys to get a cleanse okay you guys could do these on your own at home you guys could do them with the egg cleanses you guys could bathe with sea salt you guys could bathe or shower with coconut water okay so that's what i would suggest for you guys okay also, if you guys are interested, um, there's herbs that you guys could throw in into your baths. You guys could use lavender, maybe rose for self-healing and love, right? So I do feel like, for the most part, you guys might vacillate between feeling good, but then also coming back to like maybe this depressive state within the next 30 days, okay? So that is what I'm seeing. I do kind of see you guys struggling as I mentioned a little bit but on the flip side your finances are going to improve Aries again another Aries card here with the Emperor coming up next to the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles indicates abundance it represents family also I do feel like you guys are going to be meeting quite a few new characters in your life okay you guys are going to be expanding your network circles or making new friends uh, maybe going out more spending more time outdoors as well okay so that's what i have for you so far let's go ahead and do a reshuffle just to see what else is coming up for you guys so for some of you guys i am kind of getting a sense here that someone could potentially pop back into the picture this could be someone that you guys already have history with you have here the knight of wands so the knight of wands is typically someone who comes off as a player maybe someone who's in it to hit it and quit it or something like that or someone who has a tendency to be in and out of your life okay so i feel like this person could potentially pop back into the picture this month maybe they send you a text or hit you guys up maybe it's someone you guys haven't heard from for a while maybe that's the reason why you guys are sad or depressed i'm getting king of wands energy here twice king of wands king of wands and this person could cause some form of conflict in you or you might potentially get fed up with them this month and say you know what i've had it up to here with you i am so done with dealing with you king of wands again this could be a leo aries or sagittarius and i'm choosing to walk away from you here with the eight of cups okay you're over feeling like you have to struggle with this person you're over the connection you're over the stress okay and i forgot to mention I feel like you guys might have blockages, um, but I was recently gifted this um, Ganesha statue from someone and ironically, they're the person that I removed from my life. So Ganesha is good for removing blockages. If you guys feel like you have blockages, I would suggest getting yourselves a Ganesha statue, okay? okay. 
Let's move on. You have here the Four of Wands here with the Nine of Cups and then also the Eight of Wands. So I feel like towards the end of the 30 day period, within the next 30 days, you guys are going to come into a more solid type of energy. Perhaps there could also be celebrations or get togethers for you guys. There could also potentially feel like, okay, you're finally moving forward in terms of your mental health, your physical health. I feel like there's going to be major improvements for you coming into summer. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. Again, there could potentially be announcements of ceremonies or something like that. Or maybe you guys get invited to parties as well. So I definitely feel like you guys are releasing someone whom you guys have had trouble with. I feel like your spiritual guides are trying to protect you from this person. Temperance always represents to me spiritual guides or you know the energies or the forces working behind the scenes for you guys. Okay, so I feel like you guys might have again the king of wands come back into the picture it could be any person that you kind of deem as good looking or somewhat of a charmer um but i feel like they might potentially end up popping up again this month i feel like you guys are trying to release mental constraints or negative thinking patterns anxieties and depression as well so this person's gonna test you once they come back okay but I feel like you guys are making major improvements. In terms of maybe dating prospects, you guys could have an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, maybe someone who comes off as fair. Maybe this person could also be quite generous with you. You guys might get gifted something here by an air sign, especially if you're a female. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. You could also have maybe a male boss in proximity who's good to you or who kind of comes off as very generous, fair, like maybe a good teacher, very patient with you guys. You have here the three of pentacles next to the knight of pentacles. So I feel like in terms of work or finance, um, work relationships look to be quite positive and steady. There's going to be improvements in your work relationships. There's going to be a lot of collaboration and good teamwork in terms of your other relationships as well. Also, you could potentially have conversations regarding um, partnerships as well, maybe collaborations if you're into business, uh, marketing as well. And then also, if you want to put this in the context of dating, um, there could be conversations regarding dating someone new, again, possibly an earth sign. It could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But overall, it looks positive in that aspect. I feel like you guys just need to get emotional get over emotional hurdles for you guys okay aries so that's what i have for you guys if you guys felt like this resonated please make sure you guys like share and subscribe follow me on tiktok at priestess life and if you guys want to book a private session head over to mariasbotanica.com click the top right menu icon and click book now to schedule your appointment so again thank you guys for watching bye